Hi everyone! My name is Kira Sangster and I am a Shaw Festival Company member. I am in my 14th season and loving every moment. Today I'm here to talk to you about auditioning, whether it be for musical theatre school or theatre in general. First thing, prep. Very important that you have a healthy breakfast. There's nothing worse than walking into an audition room and having a grumbly belly. Another thing, pack some snacks. Almonds, raisins, trail mix, very important. Also, maybe an apple, banana, but make sure that what you are packing is not offensive in smell to other people in the room. Also, hydration. Gotta have that bottle of water. And if you are prone to cramping, electrolytes. It can be Gatorade, Pedialyte, something very simple, but you quick that you can have right on hand. Another thing, clothing. A lot of auditions will be very clear about the clothing that they would like to see. If they are not, make sure you wear something that you're comfortable in. There's nothing worse than having a low cut top or baggy clothing that impedes your ability to do the choreography that is being asked of you. Hair and makeup. I myself do not wear a lot of makeup on an everyday basis. This may not be the case for you. Wear what you feel comfortable in. You want to accentuate your features, but at the same time, be mindful that you will be sweating in the room. So if you have a little run, keep it cute. Hair. Show off your face. If you have a lot of hair and it's covering your face, the choreographer may not be able to see the facial expressions you're giving out. And also, it can get in the way in your eyes and distract you from the goal at hand, having the best audition you can possibly have. Once you enter the space, if you are an equity member, you will be seen first, but not to worry if you're not an equity member, you will be seen. A lot of times there is a sign-up sheet, whether that be a sheet that's just sitting out in front or having a person sign you in accordingly. A lot of auditions are based on who signed in first. The audition begins. It's very important that you find a space which you can see the choreographer or the assistant in the room. If you are in a space that has mirrors, bonus. If not, make sure you can see either or one of these people. Open your eyes, your ears, and your soul. A lot of choreographers will perform the movements several times. If at that point you're still unclear about what is being asked of you, you can raise your hand at the best possible moment and ask for clarity. Again, use your eyes and your ears. Listen to what's being asked of you, use your eyes to see the choreography, and most importantly, warm your heart and soul. Footwear. Now, a lot of times auditions will have multiple time slots. When that happens, you may be asked to wear heels in one section, tap shoes in another section, ballet shoes in one section, street shoes in another. If this is the case and you know, you wanna be as prepared as possible. If you are someone who doesn't wear heels or doesn't dance in heels, there are varying degrees to the height of heels that you can either wear in the audition or not. I would say a rule of thumb is if you've never danced in heels, don't wear the heels in the audition room. Not to worry, everyone can be taught how to dance in heels. Practice makes perfect, but in an audition space, you wanna show your best. Breaking down into groups. This is an essential part of any audition process. You may learn the choreography as a large group and then the choreographer will break you down into smaller groups. This is not to single anyone out, it's to give space and give time for the choreographer to see your abilities. You may be asked to do the choreography more than once back to back. So keep that energy high, show them your all. When the time comes, Say your name clearly and with confidence. Kira Sangster, my agent's name, and a smile. This helps the choreographer mark down right away who 
they are looking at. As you're waiting for your turn to come up, a lot of times you will still be in the audition room as others are auditioning. If this is the case, you will be asked usually to be off to the sides. Be mindful of those auditioning. If you would like, you can rehearse the choreography either by marking it or doing it in your head. But please don't do it full out as it takes away and pulls focus away from those who are auditioning in front of you. Cuts. It's an inevitable part of the audition. If you are cut, the choreographer or assistant may just call out the names and say, we would like Kira Sangster to stay. If your name is not called, don't worry, don't stress. Collect your belongings and leave the room. You can wave goodbye saying thank you, but I wouldn't go up and shake anyone's hands. Some choreographers are different though. They may wait at the door and personally thank each and every person who comes into the room. Bonus, if you are asked to stay though, chances are you will be learning additional choreography. That may be a change in shoes or change in outfit, depending on the show that you are auditioning for. If you are auditioning for theater school, chances are you will be all asked to stay in the room and you will have multiple shoe changes and multiple choreographies taught to you. Don't worry, take a deep breath, have a sip of water. You've made it this far, you can make it to the end. Now that your audition is done, guess what? Enjoy the rest of your day. There's nothing more you can do. You gave it your best, let it go. A lot of times auditions are a process, whether it be intake for particular schools, restrictions on what they are looking for for a particular show. A lot of these things are out of your control. There's no need to stress and worry about it. Continuously calling the school is not necessary. Once you finish your audition, walk away. Take a deep breath, cool yourself down, collect your thoughts, and move on with your day.